pinnacle of basketball, the NBA Finals. It's over. At last, the long wait is over. Where one best of seven series can change a player's life. One best of seven series can solidify them into history. Can finally call themselves NBA champions. But what if these historic moments got replayed? How different would the outcomes be and would fate repeat itself? Today, that is what we're gonna find out. We are gonna be replaying the five most iconic NBA Finals of all time. Now the first matchup we have is a classic, the 1984 NBA Finals between the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers, Magic versus Bird. In real life, this series actually went to seven with the Celtics winning and Bird claiming Finals MVP. Let's see if it'll go the same way in 2K. Let's jump into it. Now game one of this series, Magic Johnson would put up 17 assists alongside 11 points to lead the Los Angeles Lakers to victory. Kareem also helped out with the 20 piece and Larry Bird, even though he had a good game, it just wasn't enough to take down the Lakers. Boys, Magic with the ball, tie game. The Celtics are looking to tie this series as well. Let's see what Magic cooks up. He's driving to the rim. He's trying to force himself in there. I mean, the defender's too small. He's gonna get the layup to go over him. And just like that, the Lakers regain the lead. Look, man, the entire crowd up on their feet. The Celtics need to stop. What are they doing? They left Kareem all alone. That is just too easy, man. And if the Celtics don't score here, they're pretty much cooked. They're going to be down 2-0. Larry Bird with the basketball. Down to Dennis Johnson. Gerald Henderson with the basketball now. Larry was opening the corner there for a second. They should have dished it to him. And Kareem with the strip. Magic with the recovery. It looks like that's going to do it for game two as well. Wow, that is just tough. And they're going to continue to play the foul game. But this game is over and done with. The Lakers are going to go ahead and take game two. Magic Johnson with an insane performance. 17 points, 19 assists. On to game three back in Boston. Here we go, bro. The crowd needs to give them energy. We need to see something. Larry Bird, take over, bro. Larry Bird, take over. Go get the ball, bro. You need to. This is do or die right here. Larry Bird with the basketball in the paint. Larry Bird, spin shot, layup, missed it. Can't get his own rebound. Oh, my God. Here comes Magic on the other end. Larry Bird all over him, and he drills the shot on Bird's head. He's saying, this is my city. That's tough. The Lakers just earned another stop. Magic with the basketball in his hands. He can put this series and game away. He throws an alley-oop for his 18th assist of the night to Bob McAdoo with the slam. That might be the dagger for the series. The Lakers are going to go ahead and fall in game three as well. That pretty much means this series is over and done with. Let's see if they can avoid the sweep at least. Look, in game four, it appears like the Celtics are going to go ahead and at least come out of this series with a minimum of one victory. Could they maybe pull up a 3 nothing comeback? I don't really know if they could do that, but hey, they're going back to LA for game five. It's 30 seconds left. Celtics with the basketball. They are stuck one. They need a bucket badly to stay alive in this series. Yes, give it to Larry. Larry for three. He misses it in and out. Oh my goodness, that is soul crushing. Parrish working on Kareem. Fade away. He can't get it to go. Gets his own board. Puts it up again. Misses it. Gets his own board a third time. Dishes it out. They need a three ball. They need a three ball. Give it to Larry. Why is Larry not touching the ball? Gerald Henderson misses it as well. You know what? They deserve to lose. With that many chances and with Larry Bird on the court, not giving them the ball is a crime. And just like that. Oh my God. They made a full court, but it doesn't matter because they're still going to go ahead and lose. The fact that that just went in is insane. The Los Angeles Lakers win the NBA championship in this replay of the 1984 NBA Finals. There we go. The NBA Finals trophy. Lift that thing up high. I'm pretty sure that's the modern day trophy, but it doesn't matter. The Lakers are champions. Magic Johnson wins Finals MVP. I mean, there was just no doubt in my mind. His stats were insane this series. First of the five series that we're going to be replaying. You know what? History flipped itself. We didn't expect it. I didn't expect it, but the Lakers ended up victorious, which is the opposite from what happened in real life. 90% of you watching aren't subscribed. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. On to the next series. The second finals on our list that we will be replaying. The 2006 NBA Finals where the Dallas Mavericks played against D-Wade in the Miami Heat. Now in real life, the Mavs took an early 2-0 series lead, but they choked four games in a row. And the Heat and D-Wade ended up winning the championship. Let's see what happens in 2K. First game of this series went exactly how it went in real life. The Mavericks would end up taking an early lead and they would hold it all the way through the entire game to secure the victory. Game two went exactly how it went in real life as well. The Mavericks would take home another victory and they would take an early 2-0 series lead. But this is where they messed up in real life. Let's see if the same thing happens in 2K. Man, the Heat are going to go ahead and drop this series. D-Wade is probably pissed. Shaq is probably pissed. They're not going to go ahead and get that ring. This time, it looks like the Mavericks are going to go ahead and get it, unless they blow a 3-0.
Look, man, Jason Terry at the line to clinch the Mavs their very first title in franchise history. This is going to be a huge moment for Mavs fans. And honestly, bro, I mean, this was kind of an unexpected one. A sweep is crazy. That he have Shaq and D-Wade. That is just not normal. Look, Young Dirk takes down Shaq, takes down D-Wade, and wins a championship. How different would his career be if he won a championship in 2006? I mean, I can only imagine, but shout out to the Mavericks. I know Mark Cuban is somewhere getting hyped. Boys, there we go. There we go. The finals MVP. Who else? Dirk Nowitzki. Hold that thing up high, bro. He deserves it for beating an absolute, you know, demon team. I mean, D-Wade and Shaq is a crazy duo to get by. So shout out to Dirk and the Mavs. The next finals on the list, the 2016 NBA Finals, where, of course, the first ever 3-1 lead got blown in the finals by the Golden State Warriors, which led to the Cavs winning this championship. Today, we're going to replay it. We're going to see what would happen. Hey, man, Draymond's going to be here. He's not going to be suspended. There's going to be a lot of different factors. Let's see how this ends. Now guys, game one was close. The Warriors needed a big shot, and Steph Curry stepped up and drilled a deep three. That shot was honestly insane, and that gave him a five-point lead, which was pretty comfortable. The Cavs would get their chance on this Kyrie 3 to kind of cut into the lead, but unfortunately he missed it. And that right there was pretty much the game. From there on out, it was out of reach. So although it was close, the Warriors take game one. They take a 1-0 series lead. On to game two. Boys, this game two is out of reach for the Cavaliers. They're going to fall down 2-0 in this series. But hey, man, you got to remember that no lead is safe, especially in 2016. And especially when it comes to the Warriors. So on to game three. All right, one minute left in game three. Cavs ball there, only up by three points. Can LeBron get a bucket right here? Downloaded Tristan Thompson, beautiful pass, beautiful dunk, puts them up by five. LeBron with the basketball, he's not gonna pull that. He's smarter than that. Oh my God, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. The ball can't drop. The Warriors are still alive. Here we go, Iguodala for three. He can't cut into the lead either. Okay, now I can officially safely say the Cavs are gonna go ahead and take game three. That was stressful. I don't even know why LeBron pulled that shot. Boys, here we go. LeBron for three. Late in game four. He drills it. That might be the dagger. Puts them up by eight. He knows what it means to the city of Cleveland. The series is about to be all tied up. Keep in mind that the Warriors were up 3-1 in real life, and that's what forced the Cavs to come back. So maybe, just maybe, being tied at 2-2 gives the Warriors the spark they need and the motivation to get this series over with. Listen, boys, I truly don't know what's worse. The Cavs right now are demolishing the Warriors on their home floor. They are up by 29. It looks like they're about to take a 3-2 series lead. I mean, I don't know which one's worse, blowing a 3-1 lead or blowing a 2-0 lead. I don't know. You guys let me know. But it looks like the Cavs are going to go ahead and take this Game 5 victory. Look, boys, the Warriors are up by 12 with about 40 seconds left. Klay Thompson has 37 points, putting the team on his back, forcing a Game 7. We're going back to Oracle Arena where that infamous Kyrie shot and LeBron block happened. Let's see if history can change today. Let's see if the Warriors can come through and actually win this 2016 championship. <laughs> Guys, Game 7 is underway. Kyrie on Steph. We've seen this before. Oh, my God, the screen. He's going right. Dishes to LeBron. LeBron, get the bucket. We need a bucket, bro. If you want to stay alive, you need a bucket. Out to Kyrie again. Kyrie, can you save him? Can you save LeBron again? Drive in. Terrible shot, but he got it to go somehow. Four-point game with the minute 20 left. Oh, boys. This feels like history. Oh, my goodness. Kyrie just crossed Curry. LeBron with the basketball. He needs a bucket on Draymond Green. Let's see what he can do. He's driving in. He's going all the way. No foul, but he gets the bucket somehow. King James cuts the lead to two. This feels like real life. And if you're a Warriors fan, you might as well look away right now. 36 seconds. Kyrie for three. He can't get it to go over Curry. Kevin Love put back. Gets it to go. Tight game. Oh, my goodness, bro. This I'm not even going to lie. This is the best one yet. I feel like this series feels like real life. This game is wild. If Kyrie were to hit that three over Curry, I think I would have exploded. Here we go, though. Curry with the basketball all the way to the rim. Drives right by Kyrie. Can he be the hero for Golden State? They're back up by two. Kyrie with the basketball. Down low to LeBron. He's posting Iguodala up. Iguodala. Shot up Iguodala. Can't get it to go. LeBron misses the layup. They're not fouling yet. There we go. They finally get the foul in. That is tough, LeBron. How do you miss that, bro? Here we go. Can Klay Thompson sink both free throws and give the Warriors a four-point lead, a comfortable four-point lead? He can. That is tough for Cleveland. Look, the Cavs fought hard to come back from that eight-point lead. Oh, my God. Henny Smith for three. He can't get it to go. Kevin Love, who's been saving them, kicks it back out. He gets the rebound somehow. LeBron, they got to get something going. Kyrie over Steph. Again, he throws it. Oh my goodness, bro. That shot 
is just straight flashbacks for Warriors fans, but it's still a one point lead for the Warriors. All right, boys, no timeouts left for the Cavs. Two seconds on the clock. LeBron from half for the tie. Oh my goodness. In and out, and the Warriors are going to be crowned champions in this alternate reality. The Cavs do not end up coming back to win this series, and that right there is just insane. Listen, it definitely felt like real life. This series right here so far has felt the most like real life. Even Kyrie hit a shot over Steph, you know, in the clutch. I don't know, man. This series was just insane. It just sucks that the Cavs couldn't, you know, close out that comeback. Boys, there we go. There is the championship 2016 NBA Finals, and this time, Steph Curry actually gets the Finals MVP in this series. Shout out to him. His very first one all the way back in 2016. Hey, man, this really could have changed NBA history forever. Boys, next finals on the list, 2013 NBA Finals. Obviously, we all know what happened here. Ray Allen hit that clutch shot in game six. So we are going to replay game six all the way from the beginning to see if the Spurs can come out firing and basically clinch the victory and not leave it to the last possession so they don't lose this championship. Hey man, I don't know what's going on in this series, but the Spurs need to tighten up, bro. It's like they're cursed, even in 2K in this game six. Let's see what happens, though. Kawhi down low, fade away, jump rope, LeBron can't get it to go again. Tiago Splitter with the huge rebound. Tim Duncan with the layup. He drills it, puts them up by two. That is clutch. All right, boys, a minute 20 left. I mean, who else would have the basketball but LeBron James on a young Kawhi Leonard? Kawhi with beautiful defense. He still can't stop the king. Game is turning out crazier than I thought. I thought the Spurs would handle business and somehow win, but hey, man, here we are, all tied up with them in the left. Kawhi on LeBron, they are going at it. These two are going at each other. Beautiful move, beautiful layup, drills it, puts the Spurs back up by two again. Listen, man, the Heat with the huge turnover, and Kawhi Leonard has the basketball being guarded by one of the greatest of all time. A young Kawhi Leonard, what can he do right here in the clutch? Mid-range, Kawhi, he can't get it to go again. Tiago Splitter. Oh my goodness, bro. This man is the MVP. I don't care. He's got in every offensive board. He saved the Spurs and they're up by four. Man, 18 seconds left. They need a three to tie it. They need a two to keep this game alive. Let's see what they do. D-Wade, that's just a terrible shot. D-Wade, wait, what are you doing? He breaks the three. Kawhi's going to the line to seal the championship. Hey, man, here we go. All he needs is one. One free throw. He's already mad because LeBron shoved him out of the way on his free throw attempt. All he needs is one. Kawhi, you drill this and you're an NBA champion. Oh my God, bro. Young Kawhi cannot shoot at all. It's all good. We just need one of two. Can Kawhi drill the second? Yes, he can. That puts the Spurs one step closer to the championship. But here we go. D-Wade, last hitch attempt for three. Can't get it to go. Tim Duncan rebound up to Kawhi, up to Danny Green. The Spurs are going to become NBA champions like they probably should have all the way back 10 years. Listen, man, shout out to Kawhi for clutching up on those free throws. That was just a crazy ending, and the Spurs take home the championship. And wait a minute, why is LeBron celebrating with Kawhi, bro? This game is so broken sometimes, it's not even funny. LeBron should be sad right now. Wait, man, there we go. Greg Popovich gets to lift up that championship. Tim Duncan gets another ring. Kawhi gets another ring. I mean, look, man, if we were to replay this game, history would definitely change. And I believe in real life as well, history would change because that Ray Allen shot was just ridiculous. Of course, shout out to Tim Duncan for winning finals MVP. I mean, it was expected. Shout out to one of the GOATs. <laughs> Guys, the last series that we're going to replay in today's video, the 1993 NBA Finals where Michael Jordan took on Charles Barkley. This series was close in real life. Let's see if it's going to be close in 2K. Boys, the first two games went honestly how I kind of expected them to go. Both teams picked up a victory each. They split the first two, which means the series was tied 1-1. Now, the next two games is where it gets absolutely crazy. Michael Jeffrey Jordan is on the verge of choking an NBA championship. He lost both games. He and the Bulls dropped both of them, which means they are now facing a 3-1 deficit. This is Jordan's chance to come back from a 3-1, and this is a chance for Charles Barkley to win his first ever and only ever ring. You just know the GOAT couldn't go down that easy. The next two games, the Bulls battled back, and MJ went crazy, and they won both to tie the series up at three going into a game seven. Look, man, how different would history be if Jordan had five rings? Let's find out if the Suns can make that happen. They need one more shot. They are literally one bucket away, in my opinion, from this championship. Here we go. Kevin Johnson with the basketball, guarded by Scottie Pippen. Down low to Dumas. Dumas, layup. He got it to go. They just aren't missing right now. Puts them up by nine with 40 seconds. That's going to do it, bro. You know it's bad when a team isn't even fouling. It looks like history is not going to go the way history went. The Phoenix Suns are going to go ahead and pick up a victory in the NBA Finals. And oh my God, Dan Marley with another three to just drill it and rub it in their face. That is tough. Barkley with 20 and 17 tonight. He went crazy. Hey, man, shout out to the Suns, but they take Jordan down, which is ridiculous. Boys, that's going to do it right there. The Phoenix Suns, the crowd is going crazy. They are finally NBA champions. Charles Barkley gets his ring over Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That is insane. That one right there would definitely change NBA history. Hey, man, if you enjoyed it, 
leave a like hit that subscribe button if you're new if you haven't already check out the video on the screen right now we hit a buzzer beater for every single playoff game you don't want to miss that video and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know what you want to see next i'll see you then man peace